getting that right amount of light. Getting that right amount of light in to have a nice shot. You can see that, you can see the iris, look at that, it's opening and closing. Like that shot there, that. You can set everything manually and I'm pretty good at doing that, but. I've literally spent the last few minutes with my DSLR trying to get the right shot. And it seems I'm very rusty with it, to be honest. I didn't realize how hard it was to use. I'll go the long way, I'll take my time. Cause I know someday I'll realize it might take me my whole life. You don't think that should have been pitched then? But at least I did it right. Everything is so beautiful today. The lighting. The colors. I'm so used to shooting on the DJI where I just flip it out and it pretty much is good to go. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit rusty shooting that way. Yeah, no, nah, I can't. I can't get the shots I want. Such a bummer. Historically, what made cinematic movements were imperfections, jump cuts, or hair in the gate, for example. Part of my film ideology is to keep in my imperfections. I could shoot in 4K, but I'm shooting this in HD. If I'm going to use this DSLR and vintage lenses to get that nostalgia of film. To get that nostalgia of film. The source image should be soft and then blown up in size. Bake it into the image itself. Like a lens flare, the real ones hit different than digitally added lens flares for example. My channel, my filmmaking, it's more about my ideology and how it shaped my views as a filmmaker. In a time where the vibe is a trend, I'm more about why this ideology has shaped my views as a filmmaker. So here's my story. I've been thinking about how fast time flies on this trip. I know I've only been here for 24 hours or less, but on the plane, I got on, I blinked, I was here. I went out for an amazing night and I blinked and then it was the next morning. So the reality of it is time really does move fast and I'll blink and I'll be midway through the trip. I'll blink, it'll be over. And that's just uh, how things go. And I have this theme in my work about time and how short time actually is. So I'm gonna try and wake up earlier. I'm still gonna drink till 3 a.m. and then wake up at 6 or whatever just so I can squeeze as much time in as possible because the reality is that's just who I am and I function better that way anyway. Uh, my social battery is a very odd one. I'm down in your bed wishing you and I had never met I'm so <sighs> She'd grown tired of my shenanigans. <laughs> Six-year-old boy trapped in a 35-year-old grown man's body. I'm a grown man, but I feel like a little boy. Yeah. Okay, so here's some adult things. A trendy Rapongi coffee place coming up. What a vibe. Well, what, which coffee do you get? I ordered a cold brew for myself and I was going to stop. Next minute she was like, oh, do you want to try tiramisu? It's our last to have this here. Oh, and okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> cool. Visuals are more than trendy or a vibe. You can encapsulate time, jump forward or backwards, pick future or history. You don't need a fancy camera, just what you have in your pocket. I'm filming everything because I've always felt this impending gloom, like I'll be gone very soon. Fortunately, I'm still here, so I might as well film it. Maybe for you, as an audience, but just maybe, just maybe for myself. Anyway, I mean, I 
mean, I was just using the iPhone 12 and honestly, with a bit of grading and a bit of the thought behind the shot and the right lighting, yeah, you can get a really good shot on any device, really. I mean, it's about lighting, I think. More than anything, lighting and framing and intention. As long as the shot has intention in the story, I think it's uh, what gives it that soul. And spikely shot and action. Perfect. The urge to stop and film everything. It's really hard to not film. <laughs> it's really hard to not film. Everything I see is beautiful. I know. It's so hard. Getting to one place takes like 10 minutes longer or... Actually, it's more than 10 minutes longer. It's like 20 minutes longer yeah, every time. you keep, you know, stopping, you know. My instinct says long tracking shot because of the light, the way that it hits. Everything is perfect. perfect. Is everything just a copy of a copy of a copy? I mean, the cinematic vlog genre, everything is starting to look quite similar. Even me. I mean, I'm here in Japan doing a cinematic vlog series, which is a sequel to my first trip in March. What's next? In 10 years, I'll do a reboot. <laughs> My long tracking shots, they're not even original. PTA did them first. Question, am I having fun? Yes. <laughs> I will watch. <laughs> what a freak. I mean, the authentic vlog genre. There's a beauty in how imperfect we are. And searching through that imperfection is what makes film beautiful. <laughs> oh my god! I fell. <laughs> I was just. Oh, all because I wanted the tracking shot. Oh, yeah, it's not. It's not totally there. not that way. That, and I actually slipped. Did you did you see that? <laughs> and I even went back to capital, despite saying I had not over shop. Why do I enjoy consuming so much? Past and present. Did I ever learn? Cut the whole bunch of pieces that I really like. Shopping. Shopping. Capital down next stop beams. That's <laughs> every time we <laughs> slow down after. So bad. We talk about not spending that much on the first day. Look at this. We dropped the shopping off and went to lunch. One thing money spent well on is food. Food is life. It's culture. And in Japan, oh, it's so beautiful. Editing this footage of me, <laughs> I can almost taste my own memory. And it's two birds with one stone. Two things I enjoy, filming and eating. The next step is then you add the sashimi yep. Yep. to the soup. the soup. I feel like whenever I eat, I'm like less elegant and very funny, but it's all right. I'm gonna have the soup. All right, let's begin. Ooh. Mm. Mm, it's good. You want to add ginger? Add ginger as well. Directions. I have no idea where we're going. Yeah. How do I know where we're going? You know, going? actually, you know better. We're going to Ibiza. Yeah. yeah Ibiza. But you know better than me. Where yeah, do you want to go? There's a lot of shops nearby this area that is before capital. We're going to stop at as well. Okay. So cool. it's not just all the capital. Okay. It's all the capital. I've walked these streets before. 
So I'm going back to capital again. Yeah, because <laughs> the cap capital. Yes. Yeah. Episum. Let's see what's going on. We took a slightly different path up the hill this time. The same, but different. Hills. thing about this trip is, is resisting to buy things because I want to be disciplined and good but with everything looking like this it makes it hard perfect where are we again I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to numb the pain. This time we didn't buy anything. Maybe I'd learnt my lesson about overconsumption. Thank you. Maybe I did good today, I don't know. And again, we gotta eat, because food is memory. It's interesting how the simple things like a 7-Eleven on the sidewalk are where the beauty is found. Uh, hey. Is it good? Can it's I try? really good for the... For, ooh, okay. It's so great. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> You want it? Careful. It's too good. It's too good. Look out there, right there. Beautiful. Oh, what a movie. As a filmmaker, you can do it on your phone or on a big professional camera with a dollar sign above your head. I'm a real filmmaker. I use big boy gear. But at the end of the day, fancy absinthe or the cheapest drink at the 7-Eleven, all roads lead to that same feeling of happiness. That feeling is, well, the best. You can have the cheap drink, you can have the cheap camera, you can have the nice camera, and you can have the nicest drink, but all roads lead to 